historical giants like Booger T. Washington, George Washington Carver, General Daniel Chappie James, and Robert R. Taylor. Those are some of the people that, you know, created or started that Tuskegee experience that helped basically establish what being a Tuskegee student. Welcome to Love Black Culture on YouTube. And this week in black history, one of the most recognizable historically black universities held their first day of classes. Before we get started, we want to thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video. At Love Black Culture, our goal is to educate and celebrate the culture. We can only do this with your support. If you want to support us on this journey, please check out our store and our Patreon page. Now, let's get to the video. On July 4th, 1881, the Tuskegee Institute in Tuskegee, Alabama held its first day of classes. Educator and activist Booker T. Washington founded the Tuskegee Normal and Industrial Institute, known today as Tuskegee University. Washington served as the school's first president. The classes were held in a one-room church before the official building was built over a year later. Only 30 men and women made up the school's first inaugural class. The university currently boasts over 2,994 students and is the largest producer of African Americans with bachelor degrees in math, science, and engineering in Alabama, and also boasts an endowment of $126.9 million. The campus is designated as a National Historic Site by the National Park Service. Currently, the university offers over 40 bachelor degree programs and 17 master's programs. Some of the most famous alumni of the famous university are Tom Joyner, Claude McKay, Lionel Richie, Betty Shabazz, Keenan Ivory Wayans, Marilyn Mosby, Dr. David Wilson, Lonnie Johnson, Milton Davis, Ralph Ellison, and Ricky Smiley. The importance of the school's history is that it was one of the first bastions of black education in the South. Led by the ideology of its founder, the school was a place that focused on cultivating black skilled workers when other schools in the South were not. The school has kept its focus on creating skilled workers, but the skills have changed to fit the modern age and economy. The current president, Lily D. McNair, is aiming to keep the university as a Southern leader for African American minds. To recap, this day in black history, Tuskegee University was founded and held its first day of class under black pioneer and leader Booker T. Washington. If you'd like to learn more about Tuskegee University and its history, please check out the description below. We'll link several videos, books, and the website for those who are interested in learning more. Thanks for watching. If you learned something in this video, please remember to like the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more great videos. Your support is the only way we can continue to educate and celebrate the culture. If you have any questions or want to shout out other events in black history that happened this week, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks, and talk to you next time.